Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 21 of this series. In this session, we're going to look at different types of load statements. The first one is resident load. This is very much helpful if you have loaded the data from data source into your ClickView application and you want to perform some kind of other activities on the same table which you have been loaded. In that case, you don't necessarily have to go to the data source again to fetch it. So as this is being loaded into the application, you can refer to the same, the, I mean, uh, the table which is being loaded and you can do the activities on the data which is being loaded. Okay. And the second one is a preceding load. If you want to perform any kind of calculations or else transformations while data is being loading. So in that scenarios, the preceding load is very much helpful. And the final one is the binary load. The other one is the binary load. So binary load is nothing but loading one click view application into another application. Suppose if you are developing an application in three tier architecture, the tier one is for fetching data from uh, sources to QVD and the tier two is like uh, fetching uh, data from QVDs and preparing model. So which we call it as data model. Once you have created a data model, so on top of the data model, we will be visualizing the data. It is better to separate visualizations from the uh, data model. So to follow the MVC architecture, which is the best of practices uh, that has been followed since uh, many years. So it means we will be loading prepared data model from one application, one QVW into another QVW means it will fetch entire data set and the relations into the uh, visualization piece, right? You don't necessarily have to, uh, I mean, uh, create or else copy the same code from model to the visualization part. So that's what binary load is. So let's quickly jump into click view, right? So now we'll see about resident load. Let's create a new document and save it as a resident. Right. So click on table files. Now I'll be taking sales data. So we have sales data of multiple and so we will be just loading country and uh, unit sold let's finish this now we have loaded the table i'll name it as raw data right so now what is my requirement is i want to extract only first three letters of this even though that purpose can be solved within this statement, I'll do the resident load of this one. So load left of country, comma three. I'll be extracting three letters, first three letters of every country as as a country. then units sold and for doing resident load so we have to have a keyword resident so here there is no from is required because the data is already being loaded into click view and it will be available in the ram itself so it will be able to identify so from which table from the raw data table Right now, if I reload it, what it will do is it will read the data from the source, and this one read the data from here. Just reload it. You can see here it has read the data from the raw data and it, it has created a table raw data one. And see here, click view is case sense to country here is as in uh, capitalized here is a uppercase okay so this is how resident load will work right so how to do a preceding load so now I'll be just commenting it 
So we'll see how does preceding load will work. So here this statement will be reading data from the data source. So our data source here is an Excel sheet. Now I want to perform some kind of transformations on the data where it is loading. So how we can do is just write a load and then so now here I'll be extracting write three characters of uh, the country field data. So write of and the field is country. as country and then so we have to specify how many characters and then I need the unit sold so I'll put unit sold here then put a semicolon here so here what will happens is once it has read a line of data it will hand out the data to this one and the resultant data set will be based on this means this is what the preceding load here so let me reload it then you'll get to know how does it work if i go to the document and tabular view then you can see the pre so it has extracted right three letters and only units so even though we have three fields in the master table or else while reading the sorry two fields then uh, it has performed some kind of action so let's check with another field extract company as well right so even though we are extracting three fields from the source but the preceding load is restricting it to only two because we have specified only two fields in our preceding load with some kind of transformation so the output is the top load statement means the preceding load statement will be the output load so there is no keyword for the preceding load so it would be an immediate load statement for, uh, i mean after or i mean before the uh, actual load uh, statement okay so this is how uh, the preceding load statement will look let's see how does the binary load will work so binary load is nothing but loading a click view application into another click view application. So for that you have to click on click, I mean click view file. Just click on this and select anything here. I'll select uh, data transformation. Okay. So here first thing we need to remember is the binary load statement should be the every I mean very first statement and only one binary load statement is allowed per document so you are not allowed to put uh, multiple binary statements okay we'll see alternate one if you wish to do a multiple binary loads right so let's reload it see we haven't load any kind of data here here so all those lines are commented but this document is fetching data from the data transformations.qvw. Okay, this is what the binary load is. Right, this is helpful if you are working with multi tier applications. And you can restrict the binary load by specifying by specifying uh, some kind of parameters. Where does we have to specify it? So let's open the data transformations file. I have it in new volume. YouTube. Yes, this is the one. So then now go to settings, document properties, and the opening you have an option called as prohibit binary. Just set this parameter when check this box and apply it. Then save this document. Now we have made this as prohibited to do binary load. Then switch to the our resident load then try to reload it then to show the I mean, uh, error box saying that binary load is not allowed on this particular document so this is how you can do binary load and uh, prohibit binary load so that's all for today thanks for watching the video please subscribe